Let's welcome in legal analyst Roger Cossack for more. Lawrence Taylor said he was going to fight to clear his name. Why accept these charges now? Well, this is a terrific plea bargain for uh, Lawrence Taylor. As you recall, uh, you know, when he was going to clear his name, he was also facing time in jail uh, and a felony uh, charge for what uh, he admittedly done. Uh, done. Remember, uh, you know, I don't think Taylor, I'm sure Taylor never denied uh, that he had intercourse with this young woman. What he denied was that he didn't know how old she was after asking her uh, how old she was. So the district attorney was uh, was caught in a predicament. If he, I, I'm sure that Taylor would have gone, would have been convicted if he would have gone forward, because not knowing is a uh, is not a defense to this case. You you're just presumed to know. But you know, in the long run, uh, getting a mis two misdemeanors and getting probation and uh, perhaps having to register as a sex offender is a is a win for Taylor. And I'm sure that he went ahead and did it to avoid uh, jail time. Well, if jail time becomes a part of this process, what kind of time, if any, might the 51-year-old serve? Well, he's, he's pleading guilty to two misdemeanors, and the maximum he could get would be two consecutive year terms. But I've been told and, uh, that he will not get jail time, that he is going to receive six years of probation uh, in this matter, and then that he will have a hearing somewhere down the road uh, with the state to discuss whether or not he has to uh, uh, register as a sex offender. There are four levels of being a registered sex offender. Level one is the least in which uh, you all you have to do is uh, tell the police what your address is. Uh, level four, I think, is the worst, and that's the one where you end up on websites and all those kinds of things. I think in this case, they probably, if, if they ask him to register as a sex offender, they will probably have him as a level one. Um, remember, his crime here was exactly as they described it. He, uh, you know, he... He did have sex with a prostitute, and she was underage. Uh, but uh, uh, clearly, when, when we think of these laws, the traditional thinking, at least, is not uh, to penalize someone with a, fel with a felony uh, for what he did. Uh, uh, he, his argument was always, look, I had no idea she was that age, and uh, there's no reason to, uh, to disbelieve that. Is this the end of the legal road for the Pro Football Hall of Famer? Uh, we think so. Uh, this is look. Uh, he, this is a win for him and his lawyer under any circumstances. When he was first arrested in this case, he was facing jail time and uh, and uh, with, without any uh, question. I mean, you went to jail for this. The fact that now, uh, several months later, almost a year later, uh, he's able to plead to misdemeanors and not go to prison um, is a is a win. And I think this is uh, probably the end of it. But for that hearing on. Uh, whether or not he has to register as a sexual offender. ESPN legal analyst Roger Cossack detailing the case regarding Lawrence Taylor's latest brush with the law.